Rob Lapoulos inside Ralston Arena. Week 12 was a fun one for the Omaha Lancers. They were on the road Friday night in Lincoln to take on the first place Stars. And then the following night, still on the road, this time it was Cedar Rapids to take on the first place in the East Cedar Rapids Rough Riders. Let's take you back to the action. We head back out to the icebox in Lincoln on Friday night as the Omaha Lancers took on their in-conference rival Lincoln Stars. After no scoring in the first, we go to the second, 6.06 into the period. Patrick Polino moved into the zone and scored his 10th of the year. Lincoln led one to nothing. Later on in the second period, Joachim Weber took the pass and lifted the puck over Zach Skog's pad to give the Stars a 2-0 lead at 13-19 of the second. Omaha came back though on the power play and it was Brandon McManus. Back out to the point, held in on the blue line. Bryson, Saucer, winding, faking, backdoor scores! Brandon McManus, a power play goal! And the Lancers are on the board. The lead is split in half. It's two to one with 320 to go in the second. That goal pulled Omaha within one with just 320 to go in the second period. We go to the third and the Stars caught Omaha in a line change. That led to Biagio Lorario's breakaway goal to give Lincoln a 3-1 lead at 11.05 of the final period. Let's go late in the game with the net empty. Zach Skog was on the bench. Jacob Bryson made it a game. Now Jenny to the right boards. McManus, again the net empty, here's Bryson, and shooting scores! Bryson, and the Lancers trail three to two with 134 left in the game, and the net empty. Lincoln's lead was now three to two late in regulation. However, shortly after, the Stars tacked on an empty net goal for the 4-2 lead. That held up as the final on Friday night at the ice box in front of 4,000 plus fans. It didn't get any easier for Omaha the following night in Cedar Rapids who were winners of their last seven games. In the first period though the power play came through once again for the Lancers. Still has it and he's looking at the top of the dot. Drops it back held in blue line. Still with it. Mitch Perot now. Left side 15 seconds ago in the power play. Perot has space. Holds on. Shoot. Scores! Perot, it got through traffic, and it's a power play goal. Omaha leads one to nothing with 12.05 left to go in the first. It was Mitch Perot's ninth of the year. Lancers led one nothing. We advanced to the second period, and at 7.22, J.C. McLean had the deflection in front. Here, when those cowbells are going, out to the point, right on, that McLean scores! That'll silence the Cowbells with 12.38 to go in the second. McLean, the deflection in front of the net. The shot came from the point. 2 0 Omaha. McLean recorded his second of the year. 2 0 Omaha. Cedar Rapids got on the board while on the man advantage. It was a scramble in front of the net. Matt Philippe slid the loose puck by Zach Skog for his 11th tally of the year. Lancer's lead was now down to 2 1. All the way to the third period we go. Another power play goal, and for the second night in a row, it was Brandon McManus. No traffic in front of the net, so he didn't take the shot. Drops it back for Joyo. Joyo, left side, McManus. McManus flicks it to Perot. Perot to McManus. He winds, shoots, scores! Brandon McManus rifles it from the left circle. Three to one Omaha. It is another power play goal. Lancers took a 3-1 lead three minutes and 27 seconds into the final frame. Shortly after, it was the captain, Nick Rivera, who made it 4-1. to one. The pass to Bryson. Bryson to Massey. Massey to McLean. Touch to Rivera. Back to McManus. He cuts in. Had it come off his stick. Now in front shooting. Scores! Nick Rivera. 4-1 Omaha with 14 minutes and 20 seconds to go in the game. That score held up as your final on Saturday night in Cedar Rapids. Lancers ended the Riders' seven-game winning streak with the 4-1 victory. 
Well, after this past weekend for the USHL, the Western Conference is packed up top. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings. Still at the top of the conference is the Lincoln Stars. Sioux Falls leapfrogged Omaha this past weekend for second place. The Lancers, though, just one point out of second and two points out of first place. The Stars lost to Des Moines on Saturday night. Waterloo comes in at fourth, followed by Tri-City, Sioux City, then Fargo in seventh, and Des Moines rounds out the West in eighth place. The Lancers' three-game road swing comes to a close this Friday night in Des Moines at Buccaneer Arena to take on the Bucks. It'll be a 7.05 face-off. You can catch the action if you're not making the drive out to Des Moines. We'll have it for you live on the mighty 1290 Coil AM right here in Omaha. You can also listen online at mighty1290coil.com or download the Omaha Lancers mobile app right now. You can tune in live for that. You can also sign up for live in-game updates if you can't tune in. Make sure you're signed up for those live updates. Go to the settings section of the app. Have the live updates selected. We'll send you updates when the game starts. Goals and the end of each period stats. Well, the Lancers are back home Saturday night. It's the final game before the Christmas break against the Tri-City Storm at 7.05 p.m. right here inside Ralston Arena. It's our Christmas party game, and we have a lot going on. It starts at 5.30 p.m. with the Lancers Fun Zone. It is free right at the Banquet Hall inside Ralston Arena. Again, that starts at 5.30, so get here for that. Then when the doors open, come inside Ralston Arena. You can meet Santa, Mrs. Claus, and Elves during the game behind Section 1. 11. We'll also have the first edition of the Lancer Souvenir cards. Here's how they work. There are six editions of them with four cards each, and our first will be given away this Saturday night to the first 1,000 fans, so make sure you get here to collect all 24 throughout the year. Bring your ugly sweaters during the game. First intermission contest. Also design your own Lancer's Christmas ornament thanks to Mangelson's behind Section 109. We'll have a lot more going on throughout the night. It is a huge weekend coming for the Omaha Lancers. Friday on the road in Des Moines and then Saturday night right back here at Ralston Arena for a home game against the Tri-City Storm. You can get your tickets for the game Saturday night right now. Head to www.homepridetix.com or the Ralston Arena box office. It was an exciting week. We should have another good one this weekend for week 12 on Lancer Vision. I'm Rob Lopolis.